Hey there, this is the Orlando Squadcast. It is your one-stop shop for all the latest news, history, and updates from the city beautiful. Ooh, yeah. The city is so huge, so there's a lot going on. So tip secrets happening, anything that's new that's happening, you're going to be hearing it here first. Willkommen Bianvano. Hey everybody. <laughs> Welcome everyone and thank you so much for joining us as we explore the vibrant culture, people, places and things that make Orlando so damn special. Get ready to be in the know and stay in the know with the Orlando Squadcast. Hey, hey, that's us. <laughs> <laughs> what to do? What's up? What's up everybody? Today I'm your host. My name is Jonathan the Dreammaker Spiegel. And we have a wonderful wonderful show here today. We are kicking off our official season number Two, that's right. That's right. Well, it's kind of unofficial. Yeah, we just decided. We just was, we we just we had a conversation decide. where we decided it's our season two. What? Who are you? Oh, uh, hello everyone. My name is Rob Stack. Oh yeah, Rob. What's up, dude? Hey, what's up, dude? Uh, and right next to me is our good buddy Marcus Rawmaker. That's me. That's me. Mark. Mark. My wife Mark. called me Marcus the other day. Really? I don't. Yeah, it my just name comes Mark, out sometimes. Yeah, it's, I, I feel like the people really close to me start calling me Marcus. Is after your full like name Marcus? Six years. Yeah. No. When I'm really angry too, when I want, I want to call Marcus, you Marcus. That's why I call you Robert. Yeah. 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 Full name. Um, but yeah, you jumped right into season two. You're pretty excited. I'm juiced. We just officially, unofficially. I, feel, I think it's official. I think because it's, official. it's the three of us. We yeah. stamped it. We yeah. said this is season this two. Is happening. This is the beginning. Of season. We did eighteen. We've done eighteen episodes, which is a lot. <laughs> It mm-hmm. is a lot. It's a lot. We, but we, we have... sat down mm-hmm. over my birthday, I might add. Thank you, by yeah. the way. We went to White Wolf Cafe. Oh, yeah. Great which place. Which was awesome. Yep. And then we got these morning breakfast shots. Yes, morning breakfast shots. Yeah, well, okay, that was what? Jameson and- It had Jameson. Like a maple it had butterscotch, butterscotch schnapps. Butter, but yeah. yeah. And then it had a piece of candied bacon- Inside. Inside of a little shot glass of orange juice. It was actually delicious. It tastes like breakfast. It yeah. did taste like we breakfast. We highly recommend it. Whenever yeah. you got done, you just kind of exhale and you're like- Pancake breakfast. Yeah, it was good. Well, let's tell the audience what, like, so we're actually, it was season two. Mm -hmm. Now that it's live and we're here, we're going to go, we're going to do this, this podcast so you Mm -hmm. can listen to it, but we're also going to take what we we're talking about and put it out into the community of Orlando. Yeah. Which is really exciting. So I think it's really neat. It's going to give it a next, some extra depth to our conversations and a little bit more insight into what we're talking about. And that way you can have a visual to go that go with this. And that leads us into the fact that we have a YouTube channel. So if you're listening on this podcast go check out our youtube page because we're going to have a lot of that content and so we're going to take it to the next level so we're actually going to go there we're going to sample some of the foods or the experience um and we're just going to make it more visceral for you guys yeah it's going to be super cool we already have we have our channel we we sell real estate so we run a real estate team but so it's a lot of homes a lot of lifestyle but now that we're doing this and we're in season two Mm -hmm. this is going to be really fun so we've we've already talked to business owners we've talked to people there's already that white wolf cafe they said come back we'll Yep. feature them that place is amazing that's gonna be awesome the breakfast was yeah. delicious <clears throat> so good so breakfast gonna... was delicious you got those crab cake benedict yeah i had didn't to you? have that they were good right i, I mean I, I love eggs benedict anyways yeah but then they just put like a crab cake on top of it and yeah. i was sold and maybe. done and was done. there ramalad <clears throat> did you have any ramalad on there i did have some ramalad yeah, you did ramalad. Mm-hmm. Ramalad, ramalad. a little bit of ramalad on there yeah so anyway subscribe to our, subscribe to our YouTube, youtube channel, channel. Um, give us reviews, comments on all that stuff. If there's places you want us to go see or go film, uh, let us know because we, we're going to be out and about in Orlando. Speaking of being out and about, my two scholarly fellow gentlemen in the room besides our sound engineer and the nice young lady as well. <laughs> I'm not going to say their names because that's not what we're here for. We're not going to put them on blast. <laughs> so if anything happens, it's their fault. Totally. Totally. So going out and about in the community, I want to talk about our experience. Mm. What, what, what'd you do? What'd okay, you do? So what'd my you experience do? this week? You guys are going to dig this. I went on a walkable nine hole golf course. What? I went on a walkable nine hole golf course okay. and it actually is open into the night. Oh, now. you were telling me about so this. So it's at Orange Lakes. Which is the uh, the timeshare like yeah. uh, vacation community oh, kind yeah. of thing, right? Yeah. Over off of uh, 192 okay. in Kissimmee. Mm-hmm. And, um, but that's, What's 192 it is weird. It's West, it's West Kissimmee. So it's not like over by Old Town and stuff, but like you got to go by like SeaWorld area ish? Uh, past it. You know past how Kissimmee it. has like that random area that just yep. has that stretch like on your way to Margaritaville and stuff? Yep. 
So it's down that way. Oh, okay. oh like yep, by 429. Sure. And oh. Yes. By 429. Yeah. Oh, I used to live over there. Yeah. Really? I lived right across from there. Get out of here, dude. Yeah. I never so, went there. I never knew that it was oh, yeah, Orange a Lakes, night experience. A night experience. They have an 18-hole golf course like normal. Okay. But then they have a walkable nine-hole. It's a uh, par three, so okay. 27. And this. they give you the little um, golf cart rolly oh, things. Oh, that's cool. So you can put your clubs on there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you don't need an entire set. I think it's called a, like a Sunday set. They have like a term for it whenever you don't don't use is all it, your clubs. Is it like a wedge and then like a yeah, seven. it's like a wedge, seven nine putter Sweet. and that kind of thing. Yeah. Um. But you know, by the by the seventh hole, I'm not really too fantastic. I was just gripping and ripping with my three wood. Yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah. So um, but it was fantastic, dude. And then by about eight thirty, they switched on the lights. And then the last three holes we played in we played in the dark I've underneath seen the lights. I've those lights okay. before. Wait a minute. It's, I thought it was like gotta, a baseball field. You got to give us more. Like is it is it a light up ball or is no, it No, so you don't have light up balls Could you? because it's open all day long. So what I did specifically is I brought my um, neon orange ones oh, that I, I have. Yep. I only okay. play with colored um, balls. So <laughs> I brought mine that way I could see those. <laughs> those are good balls. Um, <laughs> that's my everyday ball. Hey. <laughs> Oh. I've never stopped using those balls. <laughs> no, no. I can't see them in the daytime. No, so. I can't. Right. Nighttime balls. Um, so I use those. Um, and then my my buddy, Tom, he just uses a regular, you know, just like a regular white golf ball. But but you could see it with the lights. You on? could still see it. Like it was it's perfectly lit. It's perfectly lit. The what whole times course. It close? How, just how like late you. can you play? It closes at like. 10 o'clock, 10 what? 30 now in the summer. Yeah. That's awesome. What did you say? I, you said it's perfectly lit. And I said, just like you. Just like me. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I'm lit like a candle. <laughs> That's so fun, man. Yeah, dude. It I, is I awesome. See, I used to live, when I first moved to Orlando, we lived up 192 as well, oh, close mm -hmm. to that. Legacy Dudes. I've never, how's And I saw those lights. I thought it was like a baseball field or something. The course is good. It was uh, designed by, oh gosh. I Ar Arnold Palmer. No. Arnold, no, or was it Jack? Jack. Jack, Nicholas. Jack Nicholas. Jack Nicholas. It was one of the two. Really? But it was designed by them, yes. Um, I saw a lot of, it was funny, it was me and Tom. Tom, we're both in our 30s and stuff. Okay. And then it was a lot of like uh, parents and their young kids. Oh. And these young kids were gripping Grip. and ripping, no it, bro. Yeah. Like doing amazing. Oh, yeah. We got passed by like three sets of kids. No way. <laughs> yeah, Just like dominating. Tiger, Tiger the, the Third and all these oh, other things. Man. They're amazing. Difficult course, but so much freaking fun. Do you think when they, when golf courses say they're designed by a famous golfer, do you think they sit down and take weeks to design it or somebody else designs it for them and then they just come in at the very end and be like, looks cool. Ch change that sand trap. That sand trap is too small. I like to, I would <laughs> like you to think? think that they would kind of kind of do different components from other courses that they've played. I don't know, maybe. I would like to think that they do that. I, I always picture like, one of like Tiger sitting down at, like at a computer and like designing it like yeah. for months and be like that's what he but I don't think probably he does not that. did it do no, you think he did that probably work with a team of like designers I think somebody designed it for him and they just yeah go and then in they're and... like this is what I'm thinking <laughs> so for Pop Stroke the one that uh, yeah that designed, Tiger Woods designed. Tiger Wood designed it like he's he, just like he took two years off that's why he's, he doesn't play tournaments he's yeah. designing new miniature golf balls <laughs> <laughs> he had to learn the he had to learn the, uh, oh, the Pop platform Stroke. That was so and, fun. The hardware first. Remember no. how fun that was? Oh, Pop Stroke was a lot of fun. It was so fun. That was fun. <laughs> Fuck Pop Stroke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I've never oh been there, God. but I would love to go. Maybe we'll go. Probably by myself. You're not going to go by yourself, Rob. No. Maybe you can go with sad. us sometime if we invite you. There's You have other friends, I'm sure. So that was my experience. I went on a walkable uh, par nine. For you. And it's open at night. That it was is freaking super cool. cool. Actually, That'd be fun. really, yep. I do want to do that. I think that sounds well, like Well, also, great. golf is so hot here. Like, oh, you have to it's ridiculous. tee off at 4.30 in the morning if you want. With us, we go when it's cheap. Mm -hmm. So it's like 11.30 I had, and I, I die. Yeah, I've I had a, die. Okay, so yeah. I played oh, we were probably him on, the, on the fourth mm -hmm. hole. A week and a half ago at Bella Kalina. And we had a 9 a.m. tea time. Too late. Oh, it's too late. It's too so late. by the time we got done, it oh. was two o'clock yep. and it was a hundred and five. Yeah, and degrees. you pretend to go oh, like eat God. lunch together and you just got mad. cooked. We yeah. got cooked. Yep. And yeah, because then you're you're and then couple that with bad playing and you're just like, why did I, why did I do this? Right. Yeah, why did I why pay did I waste for my money? You just sit there and you pound a hot dog or a Philly cheese as fast <laughs> as you can. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, just yeah. get heartburn. Yeah, and like, just dump so it right on your head. In between you the front like, and I can't even drink it. Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah. So many so times. So if you go I've at night, that. that sounds great. So if you go at night, right. it's already kind Great of cool experience. Stuff. Great and idea. Uh, it's open into the fall. So as it gets cooler and as it gets uh, darker sooner, they'll be able to great. have the lights and you'll be able to should go. We, um, I love that. Should we jump into our. Let's oh. jump into our. Is it time for. O yeah. Town. And Q Soundbite. Q. O Town Throwdown. Awesome. Nice. Awesome. Thank you so much awesome. for joining awesome. us after that soundbite. All right, soundbite. I'm going to start it off. I have, a, I have a good local Yoko. Oh, All I right. just dropped it. All right. I'm going to read some stuff for you. All right. So. Coming up, well, not coming up. Actually, you can do this whenever you want. So this yeah. is kind of a generic thing to do, which a lot of people don't do. You can have an Orlando food truck date night. 
Okay. A flavorful adventure for families and foodies. I'm going to read it. You ready okay. for this? Mm-hmm. Go on. And, and you can relate to where you would want to go. Okay. Hey, Orlando f- food lovers looking for a fun, tasty outing with friends or family. How about turning food truck hopping into an unforgettable date night or family adventure? Here's the scoop on all the mouthwatering food truck events around the city. First one is Food Trucks Heaven in Kissimmee. It's at the Main Gate Flea Market, operating hours 12 to 1030, 12 p.m. to 1030, Sunday through Thursday. That's like the whole day. That's all Whoa. day. Yep. Yep. And then 12 to 1130 at night, Friday and Saturday. Wow. Okay. That is awesome. The next one. Tasty Takeover in the Milk District, location Orlando's Milk District, every Tuesday from 6.30 p.m. to 10 p.m. Weekly, unique has unique flavors there, okay? Sanford Food Truck Fiesta, location downtown Sanford, third Saturday of each month, a monthly fiesta, okay? Castleberry Food Truck, Friday, Lake Concord Park in Castleberry, second Friday of the month, 6 to 9 p.m. Holy moly. There's so many. There's more. Really? Yeah. First Friday food trucks in Claremont, downtown Claremont, first Friday of the month from 5.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. I have been to that one. Okay. That's cool. Boxy Park, Lake Nona. Lake Nona's Boxy Park. I've been Thursday and Friday starting at 5 p.m., Saturday and Sunday starting at noon. Dude. Awesome, right? Celebration food truck, Lakeside Park, second Friday of each month, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Metro West Food Truck Connection, Metro West Golf Club, fourth Thursday of each month, 5.30 and 8 p.m. Downtown Lakeland, if you're out that way, way, second Thursday of each month from 6 to 9. Windermere Food Truck, every fourth Friday, 6 p.m. to 9.30. Avalon Park, um, that's on Hop Hop Tree Lane next to Town Park, every third Sunday from 5 to 8 p.m. And they have a DJ. They have a live DJ. What? And then Winter Springs Food Truck, this is the last one, Torcasco Park every third Thursday from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. That's a food truck smackdown. Dude, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. They are. I can't believe Kissimmee has that. Like, it's always there. Okay, let's talk about this, though, because I'm I'm interested in this because these became, food trucks became super popular during the pandemic, basically. Yeah, we talked to Josiah, who started a restaurant from a food truck. Do you think it's a fad? Do you think food trucks are a fad or are they here to stay? No, they're here to stay. Mm -hmm. They're here to stay. It's a solution to a, like, a, a very common problem and it's a great way because i feel like communities now are really looking for more events and that's what people are looking for when they purchase into communities well what i picture mm-hmm. it so we all remember malls yeah the best part about a food court mall was mm. that we go as a group everybody can be like you go yeah. get what you want right. let's meet yeah. back here and have lunch you don't have to pick one restaurant right. mm-hmm. to say like oh i don't really like so anything. it's like a mobile mall food court yeah well and the it, thing yeah. about food trucks as well is that it's super super ethnic and cultural yeah. yeah so like you can have a very specific type of food and a very specific type of culture that'll be like oh my gosh yeah, super well niche down too like yeah. it's like oh, dude, we, totally. it's not like a all all in, like sure. mm-hmm. our menu's huge it's all like these we sell tacos right and it's a great right. way to sample we sell different vegan. cuisines yeah. in one setting so you can yeah. go and get something from every food truck yeah. to, to sample a great variety of different foods right and it Yep. And like immerse yourself in different cuisine. Whenever I was living in LA, there was just there was food trucks all over the place. I feel like it's just now kind of getting here in Orlando because there's a lot of food trucks in New York and stuff as well. Yeah. Right? Um, or oh, those those different like uh, festivals. Yeah, but they're like festivals right, right, right. Yeah. But they're like like the ones in New York are more like euros, right? Yeah. Cheeseburgers, right, right, right. hot dogs, it's that kind of stuff. But like the ones in LA, you know, they were a lot yep. more targeted to specific areas, and they'd be very like very freaking good. Like this one has the best freaking shape. Well, what's ice cool? And stuff, what's you know? cool about it for the owners? They basically have a restaurant owner without as much overhead. Yeah, they don't. They can hire three or four people as opposed to a forty. You don't sure. have servers. You don't have. You know what I mean? So it's, it's a right. quick way for businesses business. to cash flow. Yeah, like, soon. Yeah, mm-hmm. and they can be mobile, obviously too. Yeah. So you can go. You can partner up with a local bar. Yeah, I know. Um. Homestate Brewing used to have some food trucks when they first opened because their kitchen wasn't open mm-hmm, yet. So mm-hmm. things like that. I think yeah. it's just brilliant. And it, again, it lets you try different things. Yeah. And it mm-hmm. lets you like experience and like we could, the three of us can go together, which we will. So might as well just put that link above. We went to some food trucks. Oh, so. yeah. That's Ooh, coming yeah. up here. Oh, Let's yeah. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's do it. Which so, one are we going to go to? I don't know. I mean. You want to go to Boxy Park? I love Boxy I Park. I love Boxy, Boxy Park. Park. Park's cool. Yeah. Celebration has some good one too. I heard the Avalon Park one is really good because it's a it's like they have like twenty five food trucks. What? Oh, yep. I love it. I love it. Yep. Well, we need some food trucks. We'll just uh, we'll we'll pick one out of a hat. So anyway, yeah. I think that's super fun. I think you can go. They have <clears throat> if you want to like do lunch at one and then like hang out with the family and then yeah. go do dinner at one of these. Yeah. Like, there's yeah. plenty of days. I just said a lot of information, so we'll put it in the description below of all cool. the times and stuff. Sounds good. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be. I think that's a that's a cool one, right? Way to yeah, serve it up, awesome. Mark. And yeah. also, Disney Springs has the food trucks too. Four Rivers is there. Oh that's yeah, one. that's all. They're always there, but yeah. that's a good one yeah. too. 
It's like a permanent cool. food truck, though. It's Great. All right. Speaking of springs and parks. Oh, yeah. Springs and parks. Sound. Park narc. Sound bite cued. It's the park narc. Well, Sweet. that was the sound yeah. bite. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you I so much. I never know how long they are. I, I don't just... know how they're long they are. Either. Yeah. Um, all right, cool. So the park narc this week is going to be the opening of the new minion land that we had talked about before. Yeah. We got a little bit of further details on that. This is pretty cool. So the minions ride actually saves your progress what? every time you go back. <clears throat> What do you mean? So they can recognize you. You get a special band, I believe it is. And you, it's kind of like they recognize your band. Mm -hmm. So every time you go back, they recognize how many points you had. You can uh, get power ups. You no. can get in the oh, new ride. So yeah, can... in the new minion ride. Because you're, I, I believe it's like a laser game or something. And okay. you're firing at different objects and things. Like yeah. probably bananas. You know, yeah, minions sure. Love bananas, <laughs> they love bananas. Um, bananas. But yeah, so pop, pop, they... They remember your score, so you can try so it's and like get a better. Permanent game. It's like a, it's like a never-ending game. Yes. That's so I could really go this year. Isn't that awesome? I could Wait go a... this month and then go in like three months. I'm like, oh, just continuation. Yep. It's like pausing. It's like a video. It's like exactly. a video game. What exactly. a great way to like That's continue so cool. the yeah. experience for the guests like, and make them want to come back automatically. Sure. Again, I want right? to go back. I want to get a high score. I want to get but more. Than well, they you can did the like unlock time. different levels. It could be yep. like Candy Crush, but like at oh, Universal, dude. something like where you're constantly like unlocking new levels. Pretty innovative. Yeah, they are stuff like that. It's a good idea. They're pretty cool with that kind of stuff. I wonder if that's a little park narc thing. But that new Vinian's minion area just just opened up mm -hmm. at Universal Studios. Woo! So it just Who opened up to the general public. So go check it out. They got new menu items, uh, minion themed, of course. Uh, they have some really great funky Maybe looking desserts and stuff. Maybe we should go. <laughs> we should go. <laughs> so if you're watching this in the future, <laughs> hit the link. Hit the hit link, the link we'll, down below. There'll be a link for us because we're going to go and sample We're going to go do it. But how cool is that? Like, how mm -hmm. random, too. Like, how, when they created these minions, did they ever think it would become such a phenomenon? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Did ever think no, about they that? They are hilarious. Even our, my kids watch this stuff all the time. And even the little, like, illumination thing before the movie starts, oh, yeah. they're always different. And I'm like, my kids are always like, what? 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 And, and they're so national, funny. too. I know. People from, yeah, they don't from all the language. They don't they speak, speak their own language. language. So everybody from all over the world's like, oh, they are so cute. Minions. I minions, love them. dude. Good job. So, I like yeah, that part. Dylan Khan, uh, stack up your points, get better and better, go for the boynesses. Uh, the boynesses? The boynesses and see what it. you can do in this. Can't wait. That's I great. Yeah. yeah, good, good, good one, Park Narc. Thank yeah. you, thank you, thank you. But right, you I think it's time that we dive into the ever changing world of expansion. And we're mm. going to talk a little bit about some. Progress. Mm -hmm. Sound bite. Mm -hmm. beep, 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 beep. Progress. All right. That's a long one. Nice. Yeah, that was. <laughs> we'll cut it. I don't remember which one it is. <laughs> it's okay. We did multiple beep, ones. Beep. Yeah. We oh did. yeah, that That's was a good one. one. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right, guys. Picture this. The historic Bob Carr Theater, mm -hmm. gym that's been around since 1927. Yeah, I've, I've played in that theater multiple oh, times. Oh, yeah, I've been there many times. Uh, it's gearing up for a jaw-dropping $40 million makeover. Yes. Now, the Orlando Community Redevelopment Agency has their eyes set on revamping this classic spot into a trailblazing digital arts and technology hub. Now, before we start like nodding heads and approval, let's break it down. On one hand, we're talking about preserving the theater's nostalgic facade and plaza, breathing new life in the 2,400 seat, feet, uh, seat interior and creating a vibrant center for innovation right in the heart of downtown. Now, I think that sounds like progress, but what is it going to actually be? I don't think we understand like what the actual use is. Well, yeah, because we have Dr. Phillips. They, like Dr. Phillips replaced Bob Carr, Correct. which is yeah. kind of sad. I So I, too, I used to tour as an actor and I played Bob Carr uh two separate times before i lived here interesting yeah, yeah. how many seats is it it 2, was 2400 yeah, 2, it's, it's one of the weird so when you play every big theater across the country all you really memorize are like how it looks in the seats right and some backstage stuff the stages are all kind of the same because it's your set mm -hmm. but th a few of them but bob Carr specifically i remember there was no center aisle it's for sound it yeah. was to make the sound better but I've watched shows in there and I've seen other people like watching me in the shows. And when you have to pee in the middle of the show and you're right in, in the middle, middle, you're screwed. It disrupts the entire yeah. show. <laughs> like, because you have to be like, excuse me. And you have to yeah, cross for sure. Like a mile and a half and they're to tight. go pee. It's so yeah, tight. It was the there. worst design. Yeah. And every time, it, like, you can see and so many theaters, like, beautiful. And everybody, when they walk in the Bob Carr for the first time, every actor is like, where's the aisle? Like, yeah. <laughs> There, everybody's gonna have to pee. Yeah, and I always thought the sound was kind of bad in there. Yeah, like the it was sound weird. just kind of went up. I, I felt like I it could never quiet. hear. It sounded yep. very quiet. Hopefully, they'll fix that. Interesting. Well, I don't know if it's gonna be used as really like a theater a, anymore. A theater anymore. Yeah, because the Doctor Phillips 
performing arts centers is way better. It's it's and they're doing innovative. expansion on that. Yeah. They're yeah. putting another theater in the Dr. Phillips. It'll but be it's, more a for... it's a great space. And they, so they're trying, what, what I read is that they're going to be revamping the space and like keeping the plaza and keeping the historic facade because it's been around yeah, for it's right a long, from long, long way too. It's right yeah. But I think basically it's just going to be used now as kind of like a technological and digital art space. So it's probably going to be a lot of banquets, maybe some art exhibits and things like that. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. maybe some presentations, some large gatherings yeah. for presentations but i don't think it's going to be used really for entertainment anymore yeah i don't think it needs to be though hmm. no but, but it is kind of a dead it, uh, it's been there for so long sure. and even when i drive by it, i'm like what's well, so sad it's just I a vacant know. right well sadness. at least it's going to get people in it again yeah. and I, I, it's nice to see that they're they're not going to knock it down and put up another advent health or something right which like, yeah that's true yeah they, that's sort of holy land it. holy land <laughs> yeah that. yep yeah so, i think it's i think it's progress yeah i think it's progress i, I am going to miss the bob car Mm -hmm. You know, and what it what it was. Well, again, but, it's know, a reminder of the Orlando that once was, mm -hmm. and it's because yeah. mm -hmm. now we're in Orlando's in you know season what eight? I don't know, but they're <laughs> just like, I mean, there's so much growth happening in Orlando, so it's it's nice to see some of these older relic buildings uh, get you know reused. Yeah, yeah it's sure. it, it's smart because. Otherwise, like there's just like really vibrant areas of Orlando downtown, sure. and then yeah. there's. If they take things away to make it, and then it's just like sad and dead. Well, and I think so, that's like, keep that, just re reuse it, re and that's mm -hmm. part of the expansion project. They don't want dead spots, right? Because right. then you just have these like hot spots of too many people, yeah. right? So you mm -hmm. need to spread out where people can go, so that that way there's you know people that are spreading out. They were yeah. not all right. congregating in one. Hey, maybe spot. they'll be. Right. Maybe they'll have like. I played Dallas once. I was with the show Nine to Five, and the show Rock of Ages was there at the same time. They're mm -hmm. two separate theaters, so like the community of Dallas, which is huge, a huge, massive right. city, obviously, they had two tours there to pick from. It felt a little like a mini little Broadway situation. Be like, oh, let's see Rock of Ages Tuesday, yeah. and then next week we can go see. Yeah, that's cool. So like maybe they could have like Wicked here and Hamilton here at the yeah. same time. That'd yeah, be pretty, for sure. You, that, know I mean? you know what? That would be cool. And I think that would give a chance for maybe smaller shows or, or maybe some entertainers or performers that aren't quite up to the Dr. Phillips Center yeah. yet. Or That the might Amway. be why they're doing that new, Dr. New Phillips works. expansion as well. That's you know? what I yeah. think too. To they're try just... and bring in those. Because as much as we would love to bring more life into Bob Carr, I think it's just about keeping it around and somewhat relevant as yeah. opposed to trying to refurbish and uh, give a new, whole new life to. Yeah, yeah. You a know? new purpose, a complete new purpose. Exactly, because at a certain point, you know, technologically, technologically, the Dr. Phillips Center, as far as it goes with sound and yep. viewpoints and all of these different kinds of things, mm -hmm. it's just so far advanced that it would be able to hold those types of new age Broadway productions. Right. You know, those types right. of that demand, yeah, those types of sets and technology and that kind Correct. of stuff. Like Wicked and those types yeah. of things. Um, nine to five is a little bit easier for sure, you know, because yep. um, you can do that with a minimalistic set. But I still think that it, it it'd still sound better in Dr. Phillips than it would in Bob Carr for sure, you know, Absolutely. just like you're saying. Yeah. yeah. I'm excited, though. I think it's cool. It's a, it, it, I have a obviously a personal attachment to that place. But... I think that it's it's weird that that on that side of I four there's just Amway and then like nothing much. Well, anymore. we got the soccer stadium, the soccer yeah, stadium, yeah, yeah. And well, there right. are actually some really good restaurants on that side of right. town, right? But in between that and the Amway, it's it's kind of scary, <laughs> right? 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 It's so uh, it doesn't it feel very safe. You know what they need? Yeah. Food trucks. Food trucks. Ooh, food <laughs> trucks. <laughs> oh man, get a little this food a good, truck weekend there. This is a good episode. I feel good yeah, about what I feel we good just about did. this yeah. one. Yeah, I feel good about going out in the community. Yeah. And, and attaching we're going to go it. out. The main thing about us doing this podcast was to be sure that we could tap into our community and highlight our community and on many different it, yeah, levels. And create a bigger community within our listeners exactly. and our viewers. And sure. so it's super important that we're uh, putting our money where the mouth is and going out and doing those things and giving our honest feedback on it. And yeah. um, we're and, just so excited. And and we encourage you to engage with us. Like, yeah, uh, for sure. Drop for some sure. comments. So let us know what's going on. Is there something that we need to be talking about? Is there someone we need to be talking to? Somewhere we need to go? Yeah, mm -hmm. get us Experience. in the conversation. If you question about something we can yeah. get access to. This season. Yeah on Home Squadcast. <laughs> yeah, that's right. All right. Thanks for listening. Yeah, thanks for listening. We'll see you on the next one. one.